I hope that, that law students today are having to watch um, Butters sing What What in the Butt in their classrooms. I hope that that's the legacy of this case. Do it in my butt, in my butt. You wanna do it in my butt, in my butt. Let's do it in the butt. You know South Park is the raunchy animated show following the foul-mouthed adventures of fourth grader Stan, Kyle, Kenny, and Cartman. F you, f you. For 19 seasons, the controversial show has provided cutting cultural commentary, but it's also established an important legal precedent that expands your free speech rights. When anybody creates anything, basically, you know, there are some exceptions, uh, that thing automatically gets copyright. And for the most part, it can't be used in certain ways without permission. But there are some really important exceptions to that rule. And there are some really important places where we say, actually, members of the public, no matter who they are, uh, can use this thing for all sorts of reasons um, without getting permission. That's Parker Higgins, the Director of Copyright Activism at the Electronic Frontier Foundation in San Francisco. In 2010, EFF became unlikely allies with media giant Viacom, the owner of South Park, who was sued by Brownmark Films after a 2008 episode called Canada on Strike parodied a popular viral video. I said what, what, in the butt. It was a, an episode where Butters, uh, the, the South Park character, remakes the, the viral music video, What, What, in the Butt. And it's a parody, and you know, you see Butters acting as the, the role of the you know, singer, and, and it's a pretty close copy but in South Park animation style. And that's, that kind of parody is canonical fair use. There are typically four things the courts will look at when determining fair use. Does the work transform or add meaning to the original? What's the nature of the work that's being copied? How much of the work is used? And does it affect the market for the original work? EFF and Viacom argued that the use of the music video was fair use as it was parody commenting on the viral video trend. One of, the, one of the places where the judge in, in Brownmark cites our brief is when he says that, uh, in, that lawsuits alleging infringement uh, can be kind of a shakedown operation. They can be just a way to get money, either through a settlement or, or uh, if the threat of a lawsuit um, might cause them to, to before, before you actually sue, causes the other people to say, okay, fine, we'll license it. And there are instances like this where, you know, you could imagine South Park wants to use this, thinks it's a fair use, but just pays because otherwise it will be a thing hanging over them or, or a thing that they have to litigate over and over. And it's, you know, and that's, that is the environment for a lot of things. And it creates what, what is known as a permissions culture where uh, people aren't exercising their fair use rights. And so you kind of forget they exist. The case eventually made its way to the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals in 2012, where the court ruled in favor of South Park and Viacom. The ruling is vastly important to the creative class, and one of the most cited cases in entertainment law in the last five years, because it says that a fair use lawsuit can be stopped before going to trial, which can help content creators avoid the huge cost of litigation brought on by frivolous copyright lawsuits. Under the Supreme Court, it's the highest precedent that you can have is, is that you know, this Butters video is fair use. That's really helpful in terms of pointing to, hey look, it's, it's a large portion that's copied and it's done commercially and it's done, you know, without that many uh, changes. It's not, you know, transformative in, in, in a way that you might think, but it's still fair use. So in terms of that precedent, super important. Um, and then the other thing is, is, the, is the precedent, the procedural thing, the thing that's a little less, less fun, but the fact that it can stop lawsuits early. I hope that, that law students today are having to watch um, Butters sing What What in the Butt in their classrooms. I hope that that's the legacy of this case. Mm -hmm.